I want to talk to you about uh, harmonica tuning. I made a blog post about how to tune a harmonica. The best way to tune your uh, harmonica is using your mouth and using your ears. And you can use a chromatic tuner to help you out. There's some heavy equipment out there to help you tune a harmonica. And uh, there's even a series of YouTube videos that I think you could spend an hour uh, watching a very well-known harp technician explain how to use this harp tuner. Uh, I <clears throat> was after something a little bit simpler, a little bit lower tech. So this is what I use, and I call this the French tuner. You're going to say, why did I pick that word? Well, the French have given us French fries, French wine, French kissing. Tuning involves your mouth. It's just natural that I'm going to call this the French tuner. So how does it work? Well, it's very straightforward to tune the draw reeds because they're exposed. You can have the uh, plates on a comb and play a note and adjust its pitch and keep going back. And it's very straightforward, very quickly to tune the draw plate. The blow plate, the reeds are on the inside. So if you want to keep making this uh, leaky sandwich to spot check your your notes uh, as you tune them, it's leaky and, and you don't get a solid note. So I simplified Start that with the four blow. I'm going to tune that to 442. So that's a little bit flat. I'm going to brighten up that note a little bit. Take a bit of brass off the tip of the reed. Put on the French tuner. That's exactly where I want it to be. I'll play its octave. It's way flat. So I'm going to sharpen that note up until the octave is the same. Hear a little bit of wah wah when I do that. That top note is still a bit flat. I'm going to give it a little boost. Not too much, I don't want to overshoot. I always try to take off about half of what I think I need to take off. Very solid, very nice interval. Okay, we're going to move up. That was the seven, the four seven. We'll do the seven ten. Play that together. Again, that top note is uh, flat. I need to sharpen it up just a bit. Still a bit of wah wah. Let's see if it's it's flat in reference to its lower note. Bring that up a little. You're getting all of this? Yep. Solid. I don't hear any beating. Sometimes the camera picks up beating that isn't there, but uh, if you're sitting right here, like my daughter who's trying to film me, uh, you can hear no beating at all. I'll do the one four. That one is very flat. It needs to be a little sharper, three, four, maybe five cents sharper than the top note because if I hit it with the same force as the top note, it's going to flatten more because it's a longer read. So take off a surprising amount of brass on the low read. We're about halfway there. Like I said, I aim for, in my mind, taking half the amount of brass so I don't overshoot. Pushing a little bit harder to take off a little bit more brass. Almost there. The pitch on the tuner says it's almost the same, but when you play the octave, it doesn't sound right because it needs to be a bit sharper. So let me sharpen it up. Very, very smooth. I'm going to move up to the interval of the fifth. The fifth interval, to have a just fifth interval, I want this to be just a little bit sharper than 442. So since my tuner's already set to 442, I'll move over to the fifths. 
so that's on the flat side. I want that to go over to the sharp side. Let's see how much that did. So I'm right at 442. I want a little hair more. So I just pop the French tuner on. I'll do another little hair. I always tend to overshoot, so I'm going to be very careful. So that's just a hair sharper. That top note is a bit sharp. I need to lower it a little bit. Just a, just a bit, just a touch to get that pure uh, interval without any beating, without any wah-wah. Solid. Okay. I'm going to do the 3-5, that's going to beat, I need to brighten up that bottom note a little. And the harder you hit, the more that bottom note has to be higher. I'm very happy with that. We'll move on to the thirds, which is the 5 blow, that's going to go down to 439 because I want that to be 12 cents flat. So three ticks down makes it f uh, 12 cents. So that's right on the mark. Let's see what the uh, eight is. I think that eight could be a hair sharper because it's close. I would I would not really notice that if I was on stage nor with the audience, but we're sat right here, I can tell, so I want it to be perfect. You can see I'm taking off just a tiny bit of brass. Solid. So, the two blow, five blow, that's going to be off. You can, you can hear that, you can see that. I prefer to use my ears, but I get, I get both sources of information now. Yeah. Again, these lower three reeds, or the lower two especially, you have to take off a surprising amount of brass to have an impact. Now I want that to be a little bit sharper because as I hit it, it's lower. The pitch lowers. <clears throat> If I hit it with low breath force, listen to this. Well, that sounds pretty good. See, as I waver, as I taper off, you hear more wavering because it falls out of tune. But when I hit it with regular breath force, it's bang on. So I've done each and every read. Let's hear the chords. So the one, the three, the five together. Now, do you hear the tonic? <clears throat> you hear that note when I play up here? Very strong presence of the tonic in the overtones in the top notes. So my blow plate is done. I've used the French tuner. It's helped me save a lot of time and effort and struggling. I could put the screws back in and move on to the draw plate.